the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today it is Tuesday, the 26th day of April in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2022. In our country, Kenya, from today, our students will start going back to school. Today, in most schools in Kenya, it is an opening day. And therefore, for you, our sons and daughters, opening school today, allow me to wish you well, Johnny Masses, and always know that Father CK, your priest and servant, is perpetually praying for you. Go to school, do your part, we will do our part, and shall be well. Today, I want us to reflect on the barriers. Barriers to our practicing our faith. What can stand between me and practicing my faith? Simply put, what can stand between me and my God in terms of serving him as a Christian? The first one is my achievements. Sometimes we get so much attached to what we have done such that we even forget the one who made it possible for us to achieve whatever it is that we achieved. I have had some people taking accolades because maybe a son or a daughter did very well and they would want to edge out God and then they would say, my daughter did like the dad. My daughter did like the mother. Sometimes our achievement can block us from exercising our humility before an all-loving God. Because now we believe that we are better than everybody else. We look down on others. We forget God. We cannot say thank you because we are entitled. Uh -huh. The other one is our giftedness, the talents that we have. Sometimes when we are so gifted, we become so proud, we become so arrogant, we become so aloof, we become so inhuman to the extent that uh, we treat others who may not have achieved what we have achieved, who may not be as gifted as we are gifted as subhumans or scraps of humanity. Are you a gifted person? Remember, our gifts are supposed to glorify God. As much as they edify the people of God, they must glorify God. That means our starting point and our ending point is God. That is my word. Our starting point and our ending point, it is God. Uh, the other barrier that can stand between us and our all-loving God is our, relations, our relationships. The relationship that we are in. I have met men and women who are very good churchgoers until they entered into some groupings or into some formations or into some relationships. Simply because you are a young woman and you are in love with a certain man who is not in love with church and God, so you also stop going. Now that's what I'm talking about. That uh, our daughter was such a good girl, a church-going girl, up until she met her friends, her current friends. So she doesn't go to church, anything about God, anything about prayer, anything, 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 anything. That is a relationship that is standing between you and your God. And why are you doing that? Because... Uh, you don't want to offend God. I remember some years back, eh, a certain lady called me and told me, Father, uh, I have called you to apologize. So I asked her, why are you apologizing? 
And you know, me, you know, Father, uh, I have been receiving your prayers. Uh, I, I go to church. I am such a prayerful girl. But uh, I have been praying to God for uh, a relationship. And God has given me a man. Mm -hmm. But this man does not want me to go to church. This man does not want to see me praying. In fact, this man is uncomfortable with me receiving your prayers. So I told her, it is okay. I will not. But I told her, any human being who has a problem with your worship and with your God is actually slowly by slowly leading you towards a very toxic relationship. Because how it, that's how it starts. To remove you from all the helplines. Once you are on your own and the fellow, then you receive the emotional jabs that they would want to give you because now they know that you are isolated. You are a lonely girl. My point is, sometimes we may be in friendships that can make us pagans, if not atheists, if not the worst of human persons. So are you in a relationship that is making it difficult for you to go to church? I'm talking to you. Are you in a relationship that is making it difficult for you to pray? I am talking to you. It is good to know I am in a relationship with a pagan or an atheist or a devil worshipper such that you can know how to organize yourself. But a relationship, when all is said and done, a relationship can stand between you and God. The other one is our work, the work that we do, the work. When we glorify our work more than we glorify the God of the work. That is sad. Our church, our church. Now please understand this. I, I know it sounds a bit absurd, uh, but it's, it is good to listen to this. Sometimes we are more into church than we are into Christ. Our denominations are not uh, the reasons why we will see God. In fact, some of them are the reasons why we will not never see the face of God. Your church or your religion can be the reason why you will never see the face of God. Because maybe you use your religion to ostracize others. You use your religion to demonize others. You use your religion to condemn others. You are a 21st century Pharisee. You are a holy person. The others are sinners. Our education. Our education can be another barrier. When, after we are well academically exposed, we look down upon others who may not have received the education that we have. That is sad. And it can be very sad. Extremely sad. Does it happen? Yes, it does. And it happens almost all the time. Sometimes even in our small Christian communities, there are people who may not come to the gathering because they think that maybe um, academically they are up there, not like any other person. At that point, your education is proving to be the reason why you cannot interact with others. It is a barrier. Your business. Your business is not, is not your life. We, ha we normally have business worship every Thursday. And one of the things that we have been consistently telling our men and women in business is that we do not own anything. The business you have belongs to God. That business, you run it on behalf of God. You are like a servant. Do not allow your business to stand between you and God. Your profession, finally, your profession. I'm a doctor, a lawyer, 
an engineer, mention them, those professions. I'm a teacher in all those other things. And you feel that because you are, you are of that caliber, you do not interact with earthlings. <laughs> because you are up there. If you, can be, <laughs> if you can be given a chance to be going for mass in heaven, you would be so happy because the main celebrant is Jesus himself. And the choir is composed of seraphims, the singing angels in heaven. And the MC is <laughs> Angel Gabriel, and the catechist is St. Peter's. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, good people. It does not work that way. Whatever profession you belong to, it is always good to be aware that there are things that we associate with that can be the reason why we cannot enjoy the presence of God in our lives. Now that you know that, I am happy. Allow me to bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do have a productive Tuesday.